Welcome. You've got dads. Welcome back to Dream Daddy. We're here for our third date with Craig, which would be the final date. We're going to get that third heart right here. We're going to go on the camping trip, and it's going to be amazing. We're going to message him, and I don't know. We're going to just, you know, I've been cutting this up into small sections because I've been playing it before work, but I have the weekend right now, and I'm just going to power through to the end. So here we go. Oh, well, you know what they say about third dates. They get pretty serious. Are you sure this is your dream, Daddy? I'm absolutely sure. I think I've been sure from the first moment that I saw him. Look at him, looking at me. He knows that I am his and he is mine. I'm sure. Let's go. Have you ever read Rich Dad Porn? <laughs> Stupid dream daddy tips. If you're parking up, he'll be sure to turn you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> It took some time for our schedules to line up, but I was finally able to find a weekend where Craig and I could go camping. He always stays so busy with work and the kids, but it's good to know that we'll just be able to spend some time relaxing together in nature. Since our first run, I've managed to go on regular runs with Craig. I mostly do them because it seems like the only time we get to hang out, but the added benefit is that I've seen a lot of improvement in my health. I was able to sift through the attic and find my old camping gear from college. Craig put me in charge of bringing the sleeping bags in the tent while he takes care of the food, so I double-checked to make sure everything is ready to go. Craig should be here any minute now. So he's bringing the food. What does that mean he's bringing? What did he like to eat? Just straight-up jars of marinara? Amanda's going to be spending this weekend on a school trip to our nation's capital. She hasn't been away from home without me for longer than a day since she was 14. I hope she isn't feeling as nervous about it as I am. Hey, Amanda Panda. Amanda's in the middle of sitting on top of her luggage in order to get it to finally zip. Hmm. Hey, Pops. Ready for your trip? Once I get this bad boy all zipped up, I'm good to go. How much did you pack? That seems like a lot for two days. That's like me, too. I, I'm the kind of person who packs up way too much. Oh, it's all my camera equipment. Lenses, tripod, flash, all that. Are you even going to have time to take pictures? I'll find a way. I need to get some good shots for my series on National Monuments. Oh, what's the series about? Mm. It's one of those internet series where I reimagine Disney princesses as founding fathers. <laughs> what? Hmm. I'm kidding. Nobody likes those. I'm taking portraits of my friends. I was actually going to say that I would look at that, and if that like popped up on my Facebook feed, I would be like... Disney Princesses National Monuments? What? I would totally click it. Oh, Amanda, you're losing out on some clickbait content right there. Oh, well, I'm going to be in the woods. Out there in nature. You know, roughing it. Just me and Mother Nature. The old Madre de... Trees. Are you going to be alright on your own? Yeah! Mm-hmm. I'm not going to have any signal out there. I won't be able to text or call you at all. Oh, it's alright. I'll be able to survive a couple days without constant updates on who just got voted off of International Haunted House Hunters. Well, I'll miss you. And for the record, Bradley was pushed down a flight of ornate stairs by a ghost. They were really beautiful stairs. Amanda finishing, finishes zipping up the big suitcase and lugs it next to the door of her bedroom. She turns around and gives me a big hug. <laughs> Relax, Dadtron. I'm a big kid now. I can take care of myself. Besides, I gotta share a room with Monica Sanders and two mom chaperones. The most trouble I could possibly get into is falling asleep with a tub of ice cream on me. Oh, well, alright. Don't steal anything, okay? <gasps> Since you asked nicely, fine. Promise. I step outside, hauling my bags behind me. Craig's already strapped some camping gear on top of my modest but stylish car. He notices me carrying my equipment and hurries over to take it from me. Oh, such a gentleman. Oh, <laughs> Well, I guess I know exactly what I am going to say. I almost had a case of the vapors there. <laughs> oh, and he loved it. Look at that. Never fear, these muscles were made for picking up heavy things and putting them in other places. Remember, it's your weekend to relax. Take it easy. Oh. I guess I can't argue with that. Mm -hmm. Everything good with Amanda? Yup, 
on our way to school trip to Washington, D.C. What about your offspring? Oh. Already at Smashley's for the weekend. I'm ready to get my camp on. I load the rest of my stuff into Craig's car and we get in. Oh no! What's wrong? I think I left my juicer plugged in. We, we gotta go back. Are you worried that someone's gonna break into your house and cold press some carrots? No, it's just... I... Just try to relax, man. Let the juicer float away. Take all of your worries and blend them into pulpy good vibes. Craig takes a deep breath. Do we have anything to listen to? Uh, all I had at my place is a series of CDs that guide you through a thorough and intense calisthenics workout. Do you want to listen to those? Um, I'm just kidding. Craig hands me a thick case filled with CDs. Take your pick. I thumb through page after page of kids' sing-along CDs. Oh, yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Takes me back. Keep going. I get to the end of the case to find, in the very last slot, a blank CD with Craig's handwriting on it. DJ Kegstand's Mega Mix Volume 1? Made it just for the trip. I think you'll like it. I pop the CD into the car stereo and it's like I'm immediately transported to our old dorm room. Hit after hit plays, and soon enough we're both happily scream singing the lyrics to each other as we fly down the highway. This song was Carl's favorite. Carl, the third roommate. You brought that dog home one night and I couldn't pry you two apart. So we spent an entire semester fabricating a story about our foreign exchange student roommate who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. And then we had a room inspection. That RA was so suspicious of us but could never prove anything. And Carl was just under a blanket. <laughs> Bless that pup's courage under fire. Man, we did some dumb things back in college. The hours fly by as we belt out tunes at whatever non-existent key our voices register in. Soon enough, we're surrounded by lush trees and spectacular vistas of everything amazing that nature has to offer. Feels good to be back out here. Real good. We park our car at the entrance to a familiar trail and load up our gear on our backs. I'm thankful that I've been working on my health over the past couple of weeks, otherwise I'd be dreading all the hiking that's about to happen. Craig looks intently at his phone. Everything alright? Oh. Yep, just had to fire off one last work email. Craig pockets the phone and we start off on the trail. It's relatively easy, but I know I would have been huffing and puffing at this point if it weren't for all the murder sprints. I look around me and take in all the tall trees and animal chirps. Everything okay back there? Oh. There's no reception out here. Oh yeah, being out in the middle of nowhere will do that. I recognize the look of anxiety on Craig's face. Oh man. But what if there's a problem? Oh Craig, don't worry. There won't be. You'll be fine. It'll be fine. See? Come on, bud. Who's a relaxed boy? I... I don't know. Craig. Hmm. I'm a relaxed boy. <laughs> like I'm talking to a little doggy. Like, who's a relaxed boy? Craig. I'm a relaxed boy. <laughs> That's my dude. We keep marching down the trail, but it seems like Craig is still worried. After a bit, he stops in his tracks. Maybe... Maybe we should go back. We could find another campground that gets good cell phone reception. Craig, seriously, what's wrong? I mean, I'm just... I'm really nervous. My dad instinct is kicking in, my mind keeps... My dad instinct... Bleh. <laughs> my dad instinct is kicking in, and my mind keeps conjuring up all sorts of worst case scenarios. What if something happens to the girls? I don't have a signal. I'd have no way of knowing. Let me tell you, that feeling never goes away, no matter how old your kids are. You just gotta remind yourself that they're in good hands. Craig doesn't say anything. I give him a reassuring punch on the shoulder. Try to remember why we came out here. The plan was to get away from it all and just focus on ourselves for this little trip. No distractions, no cell phone service, just two dads relaxing out in the woods. 
Craig looks me directly, directly, directly in the eyes. Is that? So, for a second I thought I was just misreading that, but nope, that is directly twice. Oops. Or unless he's just really super hyper focused on me, which that's okay. You can do that, Craig. Oh. No distractions. No cell phone service. Just two dads relaxing out in the woods. We're gonna have some fun this weekend. Craig and I get back to marching. It's not too long of a hike before we get to the campsite, and we're both glad to see that we're the only people there. Hmm. I can't believe you still have this tent. Found it in my attic and already checked it for holes. It's seen better days, sure, but I think we'll be able to survive. I dump the bag of fabric and poles onto the ground. We unfold the tent in the desired spot. I hand Craig mistakes. Hmm. We still know how to do this, right? Of course we do. We do not. <laughs> well, looks like they got it. Look at that. What a nice campsite. After 20 minutes of struggling like people in a bad infomercial. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> we somehow managed to build an upright structure that closely resembles what a tent would look like if you asked somebody to draw a picture of on with their eyes shut. I wouldn't put this up against the storm, but I think we'll be able to survive for the night. We set out a couple of chairs and our cooking equipment, admiring our handiwork. Hey. Bro, look at us go. Look upon the kingdom we have built. Upon this rock we shall grill our meats and drink our brews, for we hold dominion over this land. Hmm. Verily, and uh, look at our camping chairs. Which are we going to sit on? So what's next on the Camp Stravaganza docket? Hmm. Well, now that we have shelter settled, I think it's time for us to do some exploring. There's a waterfall a little bit up the... There's a waterfall a little bit up the way that I'm sure we could hike to. Let's get hiking! Craig and I venture into the woods. We amble along, taking our time to chat and admire the wildlife. Craig reaches out an arm and stops me. Bro. Dude! <laughs> Does that look like what I think it looks like? Uh-oh, what is it? Like some... dick-shaped tree or something? I look over at where he's pointing. Oh my god, it does. It's a butt! <laughs> that tree looks like a butt! Hmm. Oh. I can't get over how detailed it is. I examine the butt tree further. The contour is perfect. It even has back dimples. They're really admiring that tree. <laughs> That's another butt we should take a look at. At least I should take a look at. <laughs> I thought we were going to have a great time camping, but this makes it even better. Craig holds back a snicker. Oh. I aspire to every... <laughs> I aspire to have every hike be as good as this one. I'm snickering now, too. <laughs> oh god, this is awful. Let us analyze this tree further. Craig and I share a huge belly laugh at our awful jokes. The best thing about this is that there's no daughters here to tell us our jokes are bad. We high five. Craig and I hit the trail again. It's been a long time since we've been out here, but everything seems more or less familiar. We point out old landmarks that we remember back from our old college days. I think we're getting close now. Check it out. There's a clearing up ahead. As we get closer, I can hear water running. Oh, look at this. How romantical. And the music has changed. Oh, it's date time. Cresting over a hill, Craig and I are greeted by a wide clearing surrounded by trees. In front of us is a beautiful waterfall spilling into a large body of water that runs into a river. Mouths agape with the genuine beauty of the place we go to investigate. The old waterfall. Dude! It's gorgeous! Nature is so rad. Peering further, we get an idea of how deep the pool is. Mm. Think we could jump off of it like the old days? Ha! <laughs> this old dad is happy here on dry land. Oh. Looks like you could climb right up over there. We didn't even bring swimming trunks. Mm. What are you talking about? Oh my god, are they gonna skinny dip? Oh my god. Oh my god, he is! <laughs> Craig immediately begins taking his clothes off. 
Woohoo! <laughs> Crack! Well, oh, speaking of getting the vapors, oh. Yeah, dot 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 is right. Look at look at all that. Take it in, Dad Sona. Take it in. <laughs> well, I know which one I'm taking. Look at Craig's butt. I can't help but sneak a peek. That that is a good butt. Craig turns around suddenly. He catches me looking. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of glute workouts. Ooh. Eggplants! Eggplants! I immediately turn away, blushing. Oh. Oh, how cute. You coming or what? Oh, uh, I don't know about this dude. He's already making his way over to the waterfall by the time I finish my sentence. When he realizes I'm not right behind him, he turns around and rolls his eyes. <laughs> We've lived together for years, and I've seen your ass more times than I can count. It's no big deal. Was he checking me out all that time, or, uh... Oh. <laughs> you know, let's put on a show, Craig. If the clothes are coming off, then it's someone's birthday. Craig, give me the wolf whistle. <laughs> I turn and give my booty a good spank. That one's for you, big boy. I take my shirt off and drop it in a pile with Craig's clothes. I put the rest of my clothes on the ground, feeling... exposed. Craig and I climb up to the top of the waterfall, making sure not to slip on any wet rocks. He reaches the peak before I do and offers me a hand getting up. Oh. Oh. We're holding hands. At the top, we look over the cliff and into the tiny lake. It seems so much higher up from this perspective. Craig has always been a daredevil. He pulled some stunts in college that I'm honestly still shocked he survived. I was always the one standing on the sidelines watching and hoping I wouldn't be bringing him home on a gurney. Man, this could be dangerous. Craig looks me in the eyes. Hmm. Don't think, just jump. Is that like a, a metaphor for their relationship? Don't think about it, just go in. Just do it. Craig cannonballs off of the waterfall and into the lake, creating a huge splash. I'm worried for a moment before he finally resurfaces from under the water. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he treads water and looks up at me. Mm -hmm. You coming or what? Don't think. Just jump. How are you not supposed to think? Or how are you supposed to just not think? <laughs> Guess I could read that better. <laughs> how are you supposed to just not think? I'm pretty sure that's not physically possible. My toes grip the edge of the rock. The water looks so far away. Don't think. Just... I run off the edge, trying to do my best cannonball. Somewhere in the middle, it turns into a really graceful belly flop. I hit the water with a loud slap. I resurface to find Craig giggling. Oh. <laughs> I rate that belly flop a solid 8 out of 10. Your form was lacking, but your heart was in the right place. I playfully splash water at Craig. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I splash him again. Oh. You've given me no choice. Craig splashes me in the face with a huge wave of water. You've awakened the beast. Woo. That's what I'm hoping. He launches another wave of water at me. Don't you put me in a corner here. Don't put a wild animal in the corner. Oh, we're going all out. We're not doing, like, this little baby stuff. We're doing the dunk. I lunge for Craig and manage to get him in an arm lock. Time for the finishing move. I summon all of my dad's strength to lick Craig out of the water. Oh. Hey! I drop him down for a splash. Craig bounces out, back out of the water. Oh. My turn. Oh no, it seems like Craig was simply allowing me to pick him up and dunk him. He grapples me with his clearly superior muscles and quite literally tosses me across the water. I emerge from the water, devastated. Mm -hmm. You think I did all those push-ups just so I could look good with my shirt off? <laughs> nah, bro, these arm cannons are dad launchers. Craig does a playful flex for me. Oh, please continue. Why didn't they animate that? They should have animated that one. <laughs> Damn. Craig, truce, please. 
Craig thinks about it. Huh? Yeah, sure. We shake hands. There is peace. Man, that jump was such an adrenaline rush. Oh. Not so scary now, huh? <laughs> Race you to the top. <laughs> we run all the way up the slick rocks and cannonball off of the waterfall again. What a rush. Good form on that one. Want to go again? Oh, you know it. With the same energy we had in our youth, we climb back up to the top of the waterfall. I'm brave enough to try a flip, which I'm sure looks incredibly graceful as I belly flop into the water. Again, another belly flop. We gotta get better at this. Whew, man, this is fun. Got one more in you? I live for danger. It takes us a little more time, but we get to the waterfall and both do our best running jumps into the water below. Alright, I think that's my limit. We should get going back before it gets too dark. Alright, I... you know, I... If he is at his limit, then... I should probably stop as well, because I don't think I'm nearly as in shape as him. <clears throat> nice. We should probably head back. We go to put our clothes back on and notice that they're soaking wet. Maybe a splash fight wasn't the best idea. Uh, it's okay. We'll get a fire going in no time. We can dry off and get some dinner going. 